Welcome to Client Portal Managing Incoming Messages. From the home page, our Client Portal messages are located under the Office Overview. In this example, your Office Portal has six new messages. I click on this link. I'll see here's all six messages that haven't been read yet. Down here it says received six. Completed, I have 46 that have been completed. That's how they're going to be organized within here. Uh, to read a message, if I just click on the view icon, in this case, this e signature says thank you. I can go ahead and uh, I'm going to go hit back. Okay, it's still allowing me to, it's still saying that it hasn't been read yet. It's considered it's new. What I have to do to, to show that it's not new is actually to assign it to someone. So if I select the edit pencil, Say I want to assign this to Kevin Preco. Save it. Now it's down here as assigned. If I go back to my home page, now it considers I have five new messages, six total. So here's the total six. So it's not considered read yet, just in case if you have one receptionist that may read the message and they're like, oh, I can't respond to that one. I don't have the answer. Then the office manager would still be able to see that there's still new messages out there. So the only way it's going to show that's not new is if you actually select the edit pencil. Okay, so that's how, and again, that's how you assign a task or a, a portal message to an individual, to a user, and then it gets organized down below here. Let's focus in on the message, the very first one, Jeff Case, asking about his federal refund. So I'm going to view it. Since I was supposed to receive this, receive this Friday, but nothing yet, can you let me know what's going on? So from here, uh, if I'd like, I could actually schedule an appointment, but in this case, that's not appropriate. He's not asking for an appointment. I can click on his name. That's going to send me right into his file. And from here, I can research what's going on. Why didn't he get his refund? Um, from here, I could reply back to him. From doing that, what I would do is I'd click on the client portal message, which is going to house all of the messages coming from Jeff and anything going back from us, any kind of correspondence. So you see here, these are all his messages are open. I can look back here and see all his outstanding or any messages. These are sent to me like 11 and 14 and 15 if I'd like. Okay, so here I could compose a message or I could complete his message. All right, I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm actually going to reply to him from here to say uh, refund has, has been delayed. Now IRS is saying next Friday. All right. And then I just hit send. And then as soon as I do that, he receives an email saying he has a portal message and there'll be a link for him to log in and then read the message you just sent to him. And as you see now, there are only four messages left. So as soon as I replied to him, that was marked complete, put an end date in there, and now it's taken off from in my portal messages right here. So now there's only four new ones, five total. As you recall, the one I assigned, here's the five messages right here. And now this is bumped up to 47. So now if I ever want to go back and see all my completed messages, I could just by clicking on the view icon. Uh, one thing I want to point out, your messages, to clean your messages up, maybe at the end of the year, you probably should check this box and remove them from the list so you could start fresh every year. If this gets too large, uh, you may have to call us and have us clean it out. Because it could time, Adam could time out. It wouldn't be able to handle too many messages. So, um, other thing I'd like to point out is you see there's some highlighting in green. That means that this individual client has a balance due. If it's highlighting yellow, that means there's something outstanding. Maybe they have an outstanding task or something. You should actually go into their file and take a look and see what's going on maybe before you reply to them. Also, up here where it says show all sites. If there is multiple sites and you want to see all the messages from all sites, you just check this box and then you would see what's going on across all your offices. That's all I have for incoming, managing incoming portal messages. Thank you.